Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Challenge. This is Duke from Developer Inspirus. Today we are going to build a very simple app with call location. When you open the app like this, on the phone actually, the app will ask the user, Apple will put an alert view to the user that please allow us allow the app to use call location, to use location service in this app. And then when we up, click the update location, we will see the latitude and the longitude of the device. Okay, so obviously when I am running on this uh, simulator, I will have to use the simulate location. But when we use the phone, then every time we click it, then we will have actually a slightly different latitude and longitude. And so if you guys have um, developer accounts with Apple, I really encourage you to try these on the phone. All right, so let's get right into it. I will create a new Xcode project for this. And for this project, just use the single view application. And I will name this my location. And the language is Swift and device is iPhone. Alright, so I will place it into my desktop. Let's make some room here. Alright, so let's get right into the main storyboard and design some very basic um, UI with some labels. Okay, so I will need some label. I will drag out a label like that. Like this. I just duplicate that and some more. Alright, so for this one I will call my location. We don't have to be very precise in this because actually this project, we don't use it in this, um, like the result of the core location in this will actually be part of our project later on if you want to use core location in your app. And this I could use latitude. And this is longitude, longitude. The label here is just put it as label because it doesn't matter. Right, for this, let's make it uh, bigger so that, let's say 40. All right. Just goes down like that. So the latitude will be here. The longitude will be here. And for this one, I'll place it like that. For this also All right let's have a button to have the update location update location just like that now let's very quickly do auto layout for this because we are designing on a size class screen so we will need auto layout right so now I will pin this to the top all right and then I will do like that and I have center horizontally all right for this one I will do to the leading space and then I will have the top space to layout guy all right and for this one I will do to the left uh, horizontal spacing the vertical space with this and then to the right the gelling space okay all right so this looks good and maybe when you trying out, um, actually at first it is like that, okay? So right now on your screen, you will see some auto layout problem. It says that two views are horizontally ambiguous, right? So the problem lies in the hugging, content hugging priority, okay? So what I am going to do, I would select this one and then go to the size inspector. And for the content hugging priority, I, the horizontal I will choose from two, 251 to 250, okay? And then everything will be fine. So for the longitude, I will do the left, the lean space, the vertical, right? It looks good. Now for this one, that's the vertical to this, the horizontal spacing, and for the trailing space, to the container margin and it looks good also because I already changed 
the horizontal hugging priority. So if I don't change it, it will be like that. And it also, the two views are horizontally ambiguous, right? So for experience, whenever you have some labels like that, and it usually when you have a, um, sometimes you use a table, um, the custom table view cell, then it will be like that, okay? So what you need to do is you change the horizontal content hugging priority to 250. Okay. And for this one, it should be very simple because we can choose vertical spacing and center X like that. And it looks great. So now when we want to review it, preview like that. So on the four inch screen, it looks great for the 4.7 inch screen. It's fine. All right. But our focus is not on the, on our focus is not on the um, auto layout and things like that. We are going to talk about uh, core location, right? So f for the first thing we will need to do is we will need to import the core location framework by Apple into our project because core location is not comes automatically with our project. So what we need to do is select the target the my location like that and for the build faces and then click into link binary binary with libraries and then I will choose call location and it is here and I will add so we will see it like that okay usually I will put drag it down to the supporting file but um, for now let's just leave it there because this is a very simple project so now let's get over to the view controller and what we need to do is we will have to import lo call location. So I will import call location. Okay. So now we import it. All right. So now let's have some IB outlet from the main storyboard to our view controller so that we can talk to that and then we set those label. Okay. So I will automatic, automatic like that. Okay, so I will place some label over here. And for this one is the latitude label. This one is the longitude label. All right, so that's easy, right? So now let's use call location and ask to use the location service of the device. And we want to know the latitude and the longitude Okay, that is not the only thing that you can do with call location. Call location is humongous, but for this tutorial, let's just find down the latitude and the longitude. All right. So, to use call location, the first thing you will need to do is you will need to have a call lo a location manager. It is a CL location manager. Okay, so I will declare it like that. I would say var location manager is of typed CL location manager. And it is optional because at first it is nil. All right. So now I would actually delete the view below. We will use it later on. So now I want to instantiate, I want to instantiate this location manager. So let's do that in view that appear because um, it's this this is the place pretty good to do this. So I would do view that appear, okay, and then super dot view that appear, animate it like that. Don't ever forget to use to call the super view that appear because it's the uh, inheritance thing always do let the super class to do its job right so now i will instantiate the location manager i will do location manager equals cl location manager and this is the default constructor the default initializer for this cl location manager and if we select that cl location manager it should be very um you can see all the methods in here Okay, so that's the very quick way to see documentation for any um, typed. So now I will select 
the location manager will need a delegate, right? So the delegate for this is obviously self. So I will see location manager dot delegate equals self. And the when we after we declare the delegate, we will need declare the desired accuracy for this kind of location service. So I will say location manager dot desired accuracy. And for this one, because we need to find the exact latitude and longitude of this, I will use the location manager accuracy best. Okay. So I will use KCL location accuracy best. All right. So for now, there's one thing to notice over here because so we have the design accuracy and let me find um, all the things we can. Where is it? There, sh there should be the um, all the kinds of accuracy that we can find. Okay. Actually, it's in the documentation and you can see it later out oh, here. Okay, so we have the location accuracy best for navigation, accuracy best, things like that. And you notice that down below here, we have accuracy nearest 10 meters. So that's the thing when you see on the map, it has the circle. So it is the um, approximate whereabouts of your location. Okay, now we want to have the accuracy best because we want to know the latitude and longitude but in your app if you want to use like not very specific location like like the Yelp app the user is in let's say New York and you just need New York so why don't why do you need like the best location measure because the problem is call location use use these G GPS the GPS chip in the phone and that is very battery consuming, very power consuming. So that's one thing you will need to, to consider about this. Okay. And then we will talk about those kind of detail later on. And now after I do this, I will need to uh, check if the call location, the user allows us to use call location. So I will do check call location permission. Okay. This is the method and I am going to write this. And now I will use func check call location permission. All right. So let's write this method. Before write, writing this method, we have an error over here. So what is it? Because we have an, this view controller class hasn't uh, conformed to the CR location manager delegate because we assigned the self to be the delegate of this location manager. So I will do go with the here and then I will select CL location manager, manager delegate, just like that. Right. And now the check call location. Let's talk about that. And sorry for the check call location permission. Now we will have some cases about the authorized authorization status. So let's check on that. So if CL location manager manager dot authorization status. Okay, this is a class method and it is equals dot authorized when in use. Authorized when in use. So this is one kind of authorization status. Authorized when in use is very straightforward when you use the phone then we allows the user allows to use call location okay and then now we just location let's talk about it later and then there's another guy else if see our location manager dot authorization status equals not determined okay and this not determined is uh, meaning that we don't know yet get okay? the app doesn't know if the user allows it or not or it is constricted or not okay so cr location manager dot authorization status equals dot not determined just like that okay and we can see it up here 
the user has not yet made a choice regarding whether this app can use call look can use location services. And now the last actually last case is restricted. So I would do CR location manager dot authorization status equals restricted. Okay. Like that. And now when we hover over this, this app is not authorized to use location service. Well, this means that there are two cases actually. The first case is maybe that the user doesn't allow this app to use call location, to use location service. So that's when, when we open the app and Apple will put an alert view into, into the app for the first time we, uh, we ask to use authorizations uh, to use call location. All right, that's it for today's challenge. In part two of the introduction to call location, we will complete this app. I hope that you enjoyed this video tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post it down below and I will be answering questions and reviewing comments personally. This daily challenge is brought to you by developerinspirus.io. Do you want free iOS tutorials and resources? Go to developerinspirus.io and subscribe to our newsletter. Every week we will send you at least 7 new iOS tutorials for free and tons of resources. Until next time, I see you in the next daily challenge.